I use a lot of electron microscopes. So they're microscopes not like the ones you're used to thinking about for biology, for example, but uh, you know, half a million to a million dollar machines with uh, fancy new optics and field emission guns and uh, I don't even remember what the detectors are made of, some other new uh, ceramic. Um, but long story short, in the last decade they've come out with a whole new type of instrument. So uh, if people work really hard they can see, you know, like I was saying, the carbonaceous chondrites are nanoscale, so basically an atom, so basically most of the grains in Murchison, for example, are 10 atoms across. Uh, so these instruments can actually image things that size. Um, and there's all sorts of other new techniques and that's actually one of the nice things about uh, moving to Perth, which is in Western Australia, which for those that don't know uh, is largely supporting Australia's economy due to the mining industry. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of research capability, a lot of instruments, a lot of geologists, a lot of expertise, and um, one of the things I really, uh, you know, enjoy doing here is, uh, you know, trying to talk to those people from different backgrounds and see what I can apply from, you know, sort of their knowledge about how walk, water and rocks interact to form a gold deposit or, you know, an iron formation and see what that tells us about meteorites. So that's one of the, you know, benefits uh, that was unexpected about uh, moving to Australia about a year and a half ago, I guess.